When I was in my 20s, I headed off on my motorbike to explore Australia. Because I've always been good at fixing things, I ended up working as a mechanic. I often had to travel out to remote places to make repairs. And once the sun went down, I would park up and sleep under the only roof available, the magnificent Milky Way. Looking up at our big, bright Australian night sky completely blew me away. And made me want to understand the way it all changed each night. Including the one thing that everyone knows. Tonight we have a beautiful, big, bright moon framed by the pinnacles. And because it's so close to Earth, it's by far the easiest thing for us to see. And we don't need any special equipment to see it either. Your own eyes will do just fine. No prizes for recognising this as the moon, but you might spot that something seems not quite right about it. Compare this picture, taken from the UK, with my Australian view. You can instantly see that the moon looks a different shape. The shadow is on the other side. But that's not all. Look more closely at the patterns on the surface. The big dark area on the left of the moon is the Sea of Tranquility. It's the place where Apollo 11 landed. The eagle has landed. Roger, Twink. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. So let's compare the view that we've got here tonight with the one that you've got in the UK. The Sea of Tranquility has jumped to the right-hand side. That's because the moon you see is the other way up from ours. So how is that? Everyone on Earth is seeing the same moon at the same time. We see it a different way up because we are a different way up. So we're going to use my motorcycle helmet here to represent the Earth. And we're going to use this little camera to represent you sitting on top of the Earth. If you imagine that my face is the moon, the view from this camera shows how you'd see it from the UK, the right way up. And if we travel from the UK to Australia, we're going to go around the curve of the Earth until maybe I look a little different. So going around to the other side of the Earth means that we see things in a different way because one of us is upside down. And I'm not sure if it's you or me. Our opposite views of the Moon turn its monthly phases on their head too. We see the same phase of the moon from anywhere on Earth at the same time, but the way we see that moon depends which way up we are. Viewed from Australia, this crescent moon, a good week before full moon, looks like the letter C. While for you in the UK, the same moon looks more like a capital D. Just as we see the moon from a different angle, depending on where we are on the planet, it's the same with the constellations in the sky. And tonight we've got the magnificent Orion the Hunter pretty much directly overhead. And you might notice that it looks a little bit different in our Australian skies than it does in the skies from the UK. In the UK, Orion is seen as a hunter standing up, holding a bow and arrow with a dagger hanging down from his famous belt. But here in Australia, Orion is quite the acrobat. He looks like he's standing on his head. And we know his famous dagger as the handle of a saucepan, adorned with a spectacular Great Orion Nebula, an enormous cloud of dust and gas where stars are born. I love watching the stars. Whichever hemisphere you're watching the night sky from, observing the changes and differences is always an adventure. 